Hey everybody, um, today is April 10th, 2015, and we have Jim and I, private session of Jim and I, but it's recorded for later video. Jim, thank you for um, offering your private session. Thank you. Oh, no problem. We are Elohim. Hello, Elohim. Uh, thank you for coming back. It is our pleasure. We know who you are. You are Max. Yeah, we spoke last week and you said that we will come back in a week with more insights. What is it that you are doing these few days past since we spoke? Uh, I started painting, so I uh, yes. earned a few, few, uh, just a little bit, um, two hundred fifty dollars, I guess, by painting, which is very not, well. no, not very close to what I um, need to get, but it was sort of uh, a nice exercise, a workout. Your personality comes out in the painting, and it does help express and get rid of some of your negative energies because it pushes aside negative energy for creativity. Oh, I meant not artistic paint. I meant wall painting. I was painting very dirty surfaces. <clears throat> now that they become is, cleaner. But still, this kind of activity of cleaning up spaces and making them look better is also a release of negative energy if you assume that it will be so. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> I'm best when I do something new and creative, and this was it became repetitive after the first five minutes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, uh, so, what do you think about the whole economy, uh, Earth economy, like next five years? It is not good. They have predicted the collapse of the economy for 2027, but now it looks like it could be much sooner. Uh huh. Some have predicted it as close as the year end. However, we do not see that as it being that quick. But uh -huh. five years may be enough. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We do see that by the movement of the war machines by some countries, that the economy will be fixed in some areas and destroyed in others. So we know that it will be offset once again. It is hard to predict what they will do next. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, you go the ahead. time must continue. So mm -hmm. they have their ways of continuing it, but it will continue, but not in a satisfactory way for humanity at this time. Uh, so <clears throat> suppose economy falls in the end of the year what kind of business should that be to continue if the economy is not there uh, i don't really know i remember the past times of when the economy went down mostly the business is connected to weapon production uh food and you know government uh, supply were prospering and everything else would uh, would decay very fast Connect yourself to green energy projects. Are you serious? Yes. Because when the rebirth comes, it will have to be established in this way. Are you sure? But, yeah, so far... I, I mean, was... This is one thing that you can attach to if you want purely financial gain. That is what we are saying. After the collapse, green energies will be very, very popular. So because money will be non-important in many aspects, it will be started up in a new way, and everyone will be affected. So there is no way to, to not be affected. However, if you are doing what you want to be doing, uh -huh. You will continue to do what you want to be doing. One of the pro 
excites me, and it went in my mind, it went very far. I wrote a, a grant application which made me excited was to establish a technology which could cure humans, but because of the regulations, it cannot be applied to humans for another 20 years. But it could be applied to animals. So I was thinking about uh, therapy of dogs and cats and maybe horses. Uh, that I could do with my science knowledge. And I can establish some sort of a company that develops things in that direction. But it takes time again to establish that. And I, in one year, it would be only beginnings of that. Maybe it would take five years to get it to practical application. This is what we tell you. The beginnings of things in third dimension are very difficult due to the much bureaucracy and things that are of that nature. The th things that you block you from instantaneously gaining access to your thoughts and resources. We understand that. That is why we have already started moving to remove some of these blockages so that you may do what you want to do. However, it is distance consuming. Yes. Uh, now, another business which is very close to be started, I could um, just establish another painting company to paint old buildings. But again, that would work in current economy. But if economy s continues to fall, then people just will stop painting. You but, are uh, in a place where the economy is not that bad. If you would like to establish something of this nature, you can make some money, but not what the amount that you would like to make. And it will not be affected by the end of this year. The economy will not collapse this year. We are almost certain. It does not seem probable. I see. Thank you. I would invite uh, more entities and spirits and beings to to come through and discuss whatever is important what they think um obviously positive ones very good blessings to you blessings i thank you for your support and work you are me. supported by love and energies that care about your well-being and the well-being of the earth i'm sending you a mental image a present that would be a chessboard infinite chessboard with chess figures of all sorts of colors all rainbow colors shining brightly thank you Hello. Uh, Sounds like Lakesh. Yes. Hi, oh, friend. Long time no see. Yes. How are you? I'm okay. I'm good, actually. Yeah, I'm in good moods today. Yes. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. I would like you to think about your higher self. Have um, you met your higher self? Yeah, I'm thinking about them much of the time, and I communicate to them mostly one way. Actually, no, both ways. Yeah, both ways. I do. I do. Okay, very good. How is your granddaughter? Oh, uh, she is a special wonder to me. She really is. She is so exceptional. It is like an entirely new life form to me. I think you can understand that with having some hybrid children. But yes, she's tapped into a whole new side of existence for me that I can view through her eyes because she is young and sees the freshness of new ideas and wonderment of the things around her. And are my old eyes are now trying to perceive what she is seeing. Here is an image for her. I think she is pretty big now, right? Is she big? She's like our teenager, right? She's 
almost a teenager, yes. About equivalent of maybe 10 years old at the time, so, 9 to 10. So uh, here is an earthly image for her. We have a mushroom. Hmm, I don't even know the name of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in Russian, it's called Muhammor, uh, which is translated as fly killer. It's the most beautiful, most perfect of mushrooms visually. It has, uh, it's big, strong, it has a round, almost perfect round top, orange or red color with beautiful white spots. And it's poison. Ah, so that's yeah. an image. I've, so, seen I've seen a picture of that, yes. So that's an image. And I don't know what does it mean. I guess it means that a balance. It's a pretty balance. The strong positive side and the strong negative side. How about that? Yes, that is very correct. That's very correct because it has a strong beauty and a strong poison. It's a perfection, like a cat. Yes. I can understand that. Yes. I understand the duel, the yin and the yang of it. Yes. So it is perfect in its balance. Let me transform it. Let's let's transform it together. Mm. Yes. Yeah, his opposite is another mushroom, which doesn't look as bright as it. And it's considered a king of mushrooms. It's perfectly edible, even raw in the raw state, and it's very tasty. But it's, it's not, not as, it's not as bright. It's kind of yes, it's not as beautiful. <laughs> I see that, but yet it's perfectly edible. So there is the yin and yang. It is not a pretty mushroom, but yet it is a very tasty and edible mushroom. Uh -huh. Very good. I understand that. And this is the kind of energy that is around you now. There is someone trying to get through to you. You've just recently started a channel, but it is not perfected yet. Yeah, that was my question, which is on my mind. I see that uh, the personality comes through, but the information does not. Basically, basically, the being that comes through cannot answer any questions, but it is there. Yes, it is. <laughs> I see the light, I see the presence, but uh, it doesn't fully come through. So you it might will uh, guide, guide me on how to let it through better. Just relax. Don't fight it. Don't even recognize it. Just let it be. Let yourself be at ease and calm. And I know that you were, but however, the difference is that you thought about it. You go, oh, there is something there. Oh, there's something. But if you just let it happen, if you hear something that it speaks, say it. But I see right now that you're, it's just coming upon you. You're just opening up. It's coming to you. Don't worry. It, the, it will get there. It might take a few, four times, might take some time, but it will get there. And this being is very good, very knowledgeable, and you will enjoy channeling this being. Okay. But I would rather he is. It's a male. It's a male alien. So I will let him tell you who he is and give you the knowledge that he has. But at this point, do not worry about it. You oh. will make it through. I am so happy that you are awakening to this finally. It is very good. Thank you. It feels good. And I will give you much energy. But I just have in... I just had discovered the new energy around you when I was talking to you, and that's why I changed my subject. Can you invite more? Yeah, Griddle would be nice. Grindle. I didn't speak to, to Takur for a while, and I would invite new friends from, say, I didn't speak to Gahil for a while. I would depends from outside of Gurkfit near, but from the Earth ships, like ships, alien ships around the Earth, friendly ones. Any of the non-Gurkfit near ships, that would be great. 
It was good yeah. talking to you, Max. But oh, yeah. It, uh, let, let me give you a present, too. Let, let, let me just focus, and I will give a present as well. Thank you very much. Hmm. Here's a, a memory. It's a real, real thing. It's a memory. I was young, eighty percent younger, or seventy-five percent younger than I'm now. And I was in Siberia, and the climate there is quite unique. I would say it was very contrasty. At night it was really cold, and in the, in the day it was really hot. And it was a swamp full of mosquitoes and other bugs, and it was very green, very natural place. And it was a river, very cold one, because under the ground there was ice. Under the ground, the, the ground was frozen, even in summer. It was a summer. So at night over the river the cloud was forming, very dense fog cloud. And the sun rised. The, uh, the 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 ground started to to heat up, and the whole cloud would rise from the river, climb on the hill, and stay on the top of the hill until it finally would disconnect from the hill and become. Beautiful. So that's the image for you. That is beautiful. Thank you. I very very much like that image. We have clouds here, but they are not the same. They are much denser than your clouds because the liquids are denser. And the things that come forth from them have a density as well. So they are just slightly denser, but they hang much lower in the sky. So it is a wonderful image that you give. Remind me, what substance are your liquids in the sky? What, what substance are the clouds? What substance? I cannot really name them in here because he does not know the names of all the substances. Come on, so I you should be able head. to translate. Look it up at Google. Okay. Is it water or not? Some of it is water, H2O. So your clouds are made of water? They have some in, but they are not made of water. They have some in. Hmm. Would it there be... Is, uh, there is uh, things along with it. Are your clouds made yeah. of sulfur? They can be, yes. Yeah. There Would is it be sulfur oxide or sulfur? Uh, uh, sulfur, how do you call it? Ah, yes. The hydrates. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I don't want to be in your clouds. Yes. You would not <laughs> live in our clouds. <laughs> Let me bring someone else for you. Blessings. Thank you, Max. Nice to be your friend. Rainbow and shine to you. Thank you, and namaste to you. Namaste. See. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Thank you for coming. I am a little surprised that you wanted to see me. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. Your energy oh. is so healing and helpful. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that you thought that way about me, but I'm glad. Yeah, it's just I don't. You don't ever call me very often, so I just don't know. Uh, anyway, I miss you. No. Uh, your voice was uh, became part of my. Uh, my happiness, yes. Yeah. <laughs> my so what's voice. up? What's new? Yeah. What's new? <laughs> what's new with me? Yeah, I'm helping a lot of people online. Do you know there's a lot of people out there with spiritual problems? With I mean negative spiritual people. Like I'm getting rid of a lot of ghosts and things in households because I'm really good at. Is it um, fun? They call it to get rid of negative spirits because I dealt with them a lot in my life. So I'm very good at that. And I got rid of some spirits in a barn. I got rid of some spirits in houses. So that's the new thing. I'm working 
as a, a, a spiritual cleanser, if you will. So I don't think I have yeah. negative spirits around, do I? You don't have really that negative spirits around. I mean, there's a, everybody has a few little ones here and there, but you don't have anything major. So what do you think about my finances? Uh, I had some stu uh, not stupid, uh, shaky ideas. One of them is to start a new business and know what kind of business do I want to start. Science, non-science, construction, painting, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things you can do to make money. The thing is, you got to be happy doing it or else it won't last. And it won't be productive. And it won't, the people won't be happy with it. Because you'll lose, you'll just lose it. It'll just be, you won't be able to sustain it. Because you're just, you're not interested in it. You got to find something that you resonate with. Now, this painting thing, it bores you to tears. You're not bad at it, though. I mean, but to do that every day, do you really want to? I don't know. So, uh, oh, right. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, so there's tons of things to do. I don't think you should limit yourself to one thing right now because you need to try some different things and see what really you like. I thought you liked to drive the taxi. Yeah, but it didn't pay. Nah, yeah, I know, but it was sort of fun. Yeah, um, people became same, old, same. Mostly same young people, people yeah. who are speaking nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Earth, the third dimension is... You see, I became part of the well with me. It gave me enough money to survive, and I could boss people around. So I, uh, it was a real good job for me because I'm good at those things. I'm good at bossing people around and I'm good at making good decisions. So that's what really resonated with me and it paid. I got paid for doing it. So that's why I wanted to experience that part of the humanity because I got paid for being a boss. Mm. <laughs> and I, and the physical part of it was, yeah, it was crap. I it wasn't really that bad for me. So, but it was a a real good for a while. So, you have to find something like that. If when the armed services interest you, <laughs> I don't think so. But you see, yeah, that's what not I not at all. Not at all. Not something at all. Like that, that that resonates with you that brings you a monthly or daily or weekly income and and i'm away from that scene now i don't i don't have to worry about money or stuff i'm sort of retired i do stuff now and then i come here and do my thing here on earth go through some channelers i started working with another channeler in another country so but they yeah, don't but Chicago is a huge, pretty big yeah. city. There yeah, should be is. some opportunity for me here. I mean, there is there so is much it. around. I just don't but see it. You're How not qualified for anything, and you're older. You do have a, you can just say you have a degree and stuff and get, uh, is it possible that you could be a teacher, a professor? What would you teach? Uh, biology. You could teach biology. biology. You have a doctorate degree. You could say you have a doctorate degree, and you could tell them what it's in, and they could hire you to teach. And then they, you could lay out a, a plan and and uh, do some. That's something that might resonate with you, man. You might oh, be able. Oh yeah, to it would. Yeah, but they don't don't even respond to my applications. You know, and you, and your people will learn because you're interested, and and I think you'd be a great teacher. I do. I think that you would be able to speak to people and get through to them. And one thing about you, though, make sure you ask them if they understand and if there's questions. Sometimes you have a tendency to babble on for a great deal of time, not let people interrupt you, or but they have questions in their head. But uh, I see you as a great teacher. I would go to the college and ask if they need professors. You have the duty. 
you have what it takes to become a teacher. You have the doctorate degree. You don't have the experience, so they're going to ask about that. But you could tell them this. You've been teaching online for a while. You don't have to tell them where. You can tell them that you do private sessions t tutoring people. Mm -hmm. Tell them that you do private tutoring online, which is not a lie because you do. <laughs> All right. Um, are you people in Chicago? Are there what? Uh, you are reptilians. You are um, Lashunda. Oh, I don't remember. Some there. Yeah, there's some of us there. But we don't get involved in the social formats anymore. We're more observers now. You know, our, we're more neutral at this point because uh, there's so much shit going on there. Uh, you don't know which way to turn. And if we do, th we if we have a good intention, yeah, that's a good intention, but it could screw a lot of other stuff up. So it's very hard to be good intentioned and have it turn out that way. So uh, we're sort of staying out until we have to get involved in a in something serious. Now, you, your ideas about reptilians or even aliens involved in getting you out of wars and things of that nature, that's against the, uh, the rules. However, we do help in some ways. But we're, we, we can't just come down there and stop a war. That's just not something we're allowed to do. Um, How about coming and, down uh, and getting get me a job? We'll be able to do it. No problem. We can stop it before it started. We could do that. But we're not allowed. It's directive, as you would call it, that Star Trek term. The prime directive is not to interfere with all your pretty little social contacts. So, and that, the war thing is, you know, if you guys want to fight each other, well, who are we to come and stop it? It's, it's like, uh, the only thing is, we have to let the, the timeline continue. So if there's something really threatening the timeline, we have to look at that. But there isn't anything really threatening the timeline at the second. There may be something in the future, but nothing right now. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, one of the ideas I had, it's more like a dream. I, am, I realized I'm good in certain things like resourcefulness, but I'm certainly not good in uh, sales and not certainly good in getting the payment out of customers. Ah. So I would need a partner, a partner to cover that area. Yeah. So I'm imagining a partner who would do that. Yeah, there's many people that can do that. Actually, Interesting enough, the people that are around Jim right now, when his Saturday webinars and his week uh, have become friends with him during the week, are highly educated and very able to do stuff on a very high level. Will and Francine are two of them. And I don't know if they'd be interested in that, but maybe you need somebody right there in your town. I'm not sure. But um, they are certainly very bright. But uh, I will I will find someone in your area. I think that would be better. Well, thank you. Let's see if we can drum up someone that can help you with organizational things. Because you need to have someone that's sort of firm with, with everybody around. And then you can just handle the business part. But they have to be sort of firm with the people and tell them what they what's going on. You need a fundraiser, is what you need. You need somebody to raise funds. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it. Maybe. I'll think. About it. I'll think about it. Third dimension stock. So it's really hard to say what you need at this point. I'll have to look at your situation. You could need one of five things. I don't know. I have to look. I'll have somebody in the Chicago area that my people look. 
I know Friendship is there, so I'll talk to him. So there is a name, Friendship. Friendschaft. Uh, oh, Friendschaft. Sounds wow. German, doesn't it? Uh, but it's yeah, fine. but friendly. Friendly is German, yeah. Friendschaft. Oh, thank you, Grindel. I'll ask him what's going on in Chicago. I'm here around Rochester more because. I, I do more like uh, channeling now with Jim and stuff. So I like to hang around here because I have opportunities to speak to the third dimension. So it's fun. <laughs> All right. They're telling me that I have to go. Things are, the time is up. The time is up. All right. Jeez. All right, I will send a mental present. Just a second. Imagine a, a, and a little grindles coming out of those eggs and they're all rainbow colors flying around and poking everyone in a funny way. Ah, yeah. Not, not like my family tree, that's for sure. But that's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, I see them. They're they're pretty interesting. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they're they're you gave them my personality, so they're really bad. So So they're naughty. Naughty naughty little beings. <laughs> That's all right. I'm fine. I'm not that bad. Ah. All right. I got to let you go. All right. Have a good day. You too. Jeez. Uh, uh. All right. Hello. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Good. I just wonder how do reptilian chairs look like? Chairs? Yeah. They have to have a hole for a tail. Well, not all of them have tails, but some of them do. You're right. So some some of the chairs do have uh, open backs. So and maybe even the hole like have, uh, the I can see a slant in the back. Uh, it's a flat chair here, but there's, there's a slant in the back where the chair, tail would go. Uh -huh. And some of them are totally slanted on the back, totally slanted. But there's an open space. But some of their chairs are very ornate as a design on the top. <clears throat> um, there is places, some of them do have ridges on their back, so they're made of softer material on the top so that they can uh, set and be comfortable because the so that some of the ridges can be soft in the on the back so the chair is real soft on the back like some of our chairs too but because the uh, it there's a ridge that goes down the back of some of them that is uncomfortable if it's not soft I guess Liron chair chairs might also have because Liron's have tails too, right? Yeah, he's. Uh, he, uh, I don't think Grindel was very comfortable on this chair. Oh, I was asking about Liron's. Liron's. The cur. Does the cur has has a, have a a tail? Um, some Liron's have uh, tails, and some have just little stumps. But so they, they are, do have tails as well. Yeah. Their chairs also would be different. Yeah, they and they're well, they're very big beings, robe-like outfits because there's a lot of fur on their body, and if it's the clothes is too tight, that it's very uncomfortable. Uh, so they wear very loose-fitting clothes because 
it pulls the hair on their body if it's tight fitting. Mm -hmm. And uh, they find it just, they, they go more for comfort than style. However, they do have uniforms if necessary, but they're very loose fitting. So. But the chairs, I'm talking about the chairs for the runs. Uh, chairs? I don't know. I've never seen one. Mm. I saw her sitting on a bench-like thing. Mm -hmm. In the crystal room, she sat on a, a bench-like chair. It had no back. It was mm -hmm. just a flat surface. That's all. But I don't know what Liren chairs would look like. That was just a bench. It didn't have a back on it. Just a bench. So. Oh. Have you ever, um, what's his name? The Egyptian god. Which one, Ra, you mean? No, you're, you're the one which is connected to your higher self. No. I have not yet. No, my, it, I don't know who my higher self is. I know all my spirit guides, but the higher self has not introduced himself to me yet. But I know all my four spirit guides. Uh, there's two, two female, two male. One is a, the, one of the males is a Pleiadian. And that's, and the rest of them were humans. And that's all I really know, and I know their names. So that's it. It's in for you. Okay. And then we'll wrap up. Okay. Thank you. It's raining, drops are pouring down. It's a warm rain. It's a pleasant rain. The ground waits for the water. The plants are sucking in the water and Bloom and grow, and the spring has come. The rain is so welcome. Flooding everything. The melting snow, the melting ice, the rain come together in many, many little creeks that come together in a big river, and a big river floods the play floods the plain. Yes, floods the plain. And the valley, floods the valley with lots of branches, lots of sleeves, like a tree with a lot of branches on the top and a lot of branches on the bottom. It's a good time. It's a time of change. It's a wonderful time, a time of spring. You might be afraid, you might be wet, you might have sneezing nose. But suck it in, this is a healing water. Healing water, healing spirit pouring onto you and make you change. Grow with it, be a plant, be a bird which was waiting for that. Spring and warmth. It's time for you to change. It's time to you for you to blossom. Drink of the spirit. Drink of the 
sacred spiritual water and transform transform and grow become something new become yourself even more than before drink and transform drink and grow in that it grows in that growth keep your balance the only way to keep your balance is by growing a new you, you. Good luck on the way. Lots of water on your way. I wish you lots of sacred spiritual water. Lots of I, I wish you lots of sacred spiritual rain to get into you and to help your growth into the new you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. That was very beauty. I like that. Very nice. All right. I guess that part will get on the record and published. So you can advertise. You can get in touch with Jim and uh, reserve your channeling session and visit us for Saturday webinars. You know where to find us. So search for Hugh Colop. Thank you. All Much right. love to you. And it was good talking to you. Good seeing you. Nice to see you. Uh, we, all, we, we all miss you, and um, we would love to see more of you. So, Much of water and rain and the sunshine onto you. Okay. Have a wonderful okay. day. And same to you. <laughs> Much love. Much sunshine.